All right, guys, welcome to another episode of The Infected. This is episode 10, I believe. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, I'm kind of a new YouTuber, and I'm just getting started. I like adventure RPGs. I like MMOs. I like survival games. Mostly what you'll see are indie games, survival games, and some classic old adventure RPG games that I'm trying to play that I missed out on. So I hope you like the gameplay today, and if you do... Please remember to like the video and subscribe and come back for more content. So last time I left you guys on this episode, we got power. So we built out four uh, solar panels and we got some power coming into the, uh, the base here. We've got 50 power coming in. Next order of business is to get this oil extractor up. And so far I've put four iron ingots, eight small stone, and 11 of 20 aluminum ingots in here. So first order of business today is to get the more aluminum. But first let's kill this Vambi. This Vambi just creeping. Just creeping around my base that is not allowed. Female Vambi slave. So get the hell away from here. All right. Now she is taken care of. So we need some more aluminum. And as you can see, I did some a little bit of construction offline. Um, I'm adding an upstairs level here, and I added some stairs, and I've I moved my I, I broke down all of these, um, I broke down all the stone forges that were on this side. I just don't need them. This is plenty. So I have my stone forges here still, and I've kind of made this over here. I'm gonna make this kind of like a storage room. It's definitely gonna be holding ingots. It's gonna have shelves with a bunch of ingots in it. Uh, as far as like stores to hold these things, I'm going to have to build a whole nother, uh, what I'm going to call kind of like a warehouse or a, not even a shed, but like another house probably outside somewhere, but that also kind of connects to the base that could be easily accessible. We will build that at some point. Um, so yeah, I have a ton of wood I need to collect, but right now the goal of this video is to get this oil extractor going because that's kind of like the next big thing you need to build after you get power or else there are a lot of things you can't do without it so right now we're gonna go get some aluminum so let me check my levels here thirst protein everything looking pretty good right now what do i have in my inventory i can get rid of some of this what do i have for food okay that's looking okay uh 118 clean water. What do we have in here for clean water? We have um, no water here. Okay, so that's fine. We're, we're good to go get some aluminum. And where you want to go to get aluminum are these two hills right here. You see how the, the shape kind of like differs from anything else on the map? So far on this middle one right here and on this one here to the left are the two places I have found aluminum. If there are any other places that you found aluminum, I'd love to hear it. Uh, let me know in the comments. One day I will actually do a legit exploration of everything. But right now, I just got to get to where I need to get to and, and get out. So let's go get this aluminum. Oh, but first of all, guys, I learned a trick. I learned a trick, and I saw it from several people, like some YouTubers that I watch. I can't remember, actually, who I saw this from at first. You know what? This is full. This is full. So I need another crate. I need, let me make another crate real quick. All right, we have our eight planks. I needed eight planks to finish this. I already put an iron ingot in there. And now we have another stone crate. That one was full. I didn't want to move them out. Plus, I needed another one anyway. So back to the trick I said I learned. If you just do this and you hit in like you're going to move it, you can take it with you guys. You can freaking take this with you and I did not know that that would have made my life a lot easier and you can also fight with it yeah let's see it. Bloop, bloop, bloop. you can fight with it in your hand everything like you just act like you're gonna move it and you can take it wherever you want so we're gonna go get some aluminum with this we're gonna fill this bad boy up and we're also gonna fill our bag up also another thing I want to do is to expand my bag I want to create the big bag but I can't do that yet because um, I need to go fight Crocodiles, and I have not done that yet. It's not super important for me right now, but I do 
want to do that in the next couple of episodes. One thing I am worried about is it's going pretty, this is going pretty fast, guys. It's already fall. It's September. It's September in this game, and it is fall, and uh, I'm worried that I'm not going to be properly prepared for winter again. So I'm going to have to... I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know, like... I'm going to have to do a lot of fishing. I, I think I want to try to get an oil extractor up, and I also want to... The oil extractor, and I want to try to get a uh, refrigerator up. So I can put some food in the refrigerator to preserve it for winter. Uh, if I do make it through winter this time, I'm, go I'm going to squeak by, man. I'm going to squeak by, and it's, it's not going to be pretty. But another thing I didn't know is, like, I, you've probably heard me say, if you've watched my series at all, you've heard me say that literally nothing happens to you when you die. So there's really no incentive to staying alive. But I was wrong. Look at my health. My health is 50 out of 50. The max is 20 out of... I'm sorry, the max is 200 out of 200. And so what happens is every time you die, you lose five hit points to your max. And that is what's happened to me. That is exactly what has happened to me, and I didn't know that that happened. So I've been very kind of lackadaisical on, like, how I've been playing this game and, like, haven't been too worried about dying, you know? But now the goal is to not die. <laughs> Easy as that. The goal is to not die. So, all right, we're on this hill. I did get a good bit of aluminum before. We should start seeing some more aluminum right around here. There's some right there. Right, let's just place it down and start to whacking, boys. Whacking on aluminum. Get your, get your mind out of the gutter. All right, guys. Well, apparently, I'm a big fat idiot, and that's only for stones, not for aluminum. I know you were probably thinking that the whole time. You're like, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, Doug. It's only for stones. So. I guess while we're out here, we will uh, bring some stones back with us too. <laughs> but that's gonna make that's gonna make our aluminum journey uh, a lot more trying and a lot a lot more tedious. It's okay though; we'll get it done. Let me get some watermelon real quick. You know, I also didn't check to see what time it was, and it's uh, eight thirty nine p.m. on the game. So we definitely need to come back now. We need to go ahead and go back. But we'll break up some stones along the way, hopefully. All right, you know what? This isn't going to work because now I can't even carry copper ore. So we're just going to take this. I don't want to waste the crate. We're just going to go all the way back to base. So I kind of messed that up, guys. I'm sorry. I do apologize. But we do need to make some trips to get some aluminum first. It would make sense to go get, um, to go get the croc skins. For the big bag, but I just think uh, the oil extractor is more important at this point. So we're gonna stick to the plan, even if it does take us several trips, guys. How dope would it be though if we could put aluminum in this thing? I was thinking we could. I was really excited, and I was so wrong, so wrong about that. I'm <laughs> disappointed. I also feel like an idiot. I'm not gonna cut that out. I don't care. I'm not. I'm not gonna cut it out. I'll let you watch me. Live and learn the hard way on this game. <laughs> Whoa, what the? What the? No, 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 no. Where'd you come from? Oh my gosh, dude. Put it down. There. Stupid wolf. You know, I'm not going to be able to carry any of, it, any of its stuff. Maybe that? Yeah, that's good. That's good. And the meat. Get the meat. Okay. All right, guys. We're back at the base. That's not too bad. Not too far. Uh, but it's definitely getting to be nighttime. Did I put a door on this yet? I didn't. They can come in here if they wanted to. But anyway. Let's see if we can... Um, see if we have room to put some of this stuff on. And we don't know. Do we? We don't know. We don't. Okay. 
Here, let's put these on. We'll just trade them out. They look like baked potatoes, don't they? Kind of. Maybe like seasoned baked potatoes or something. No? Am I the only one? Alright guys, it's just before 6.30 and we're back up. And uh, that only it only cooks in time that you're awake, apparently. So we're gonna come outside. Oh, let's see. Oh, we need thirst. Oh man, we're we need we need water big time. And we need protein. More protein. Let's just eat everything we have here. There we go. We could probably use some watermelon. Hey guys, we gotta we gotta get a lot done. We gotta get a lot done before winter, and I just I don't think I'm gonna have time to do it all. Now, I like going to the drying rack just because it preserves the meat longer. There really doesn't seem to be a big reason to let's hunt. It doesn't seem like there's a big reason to put stuff on the fire anymore. I don't know. Where's my spear? Why's my spear gone? My spear just like legit disappeared. Like I did nothing to it. It just disappeared. All right. Hope this spear does not disappear. We're going to go in here and catch as many fish as we can. And we're going to put some fish on the drying rack. There's one. I wonder if the developer is going to implement drowning at some point. He's making it really easy for us right now. There's two fishy. Three fishy. Give me one more. Four. That should be good. Let's go put this stuff on the drying rack. Harvest and harvest. All right, so that's on the drying rack. So I will put this on the on the campfire. There we go. Get that cooking. Let's go check on this stuff. Get this stuff cooking. You know what we should do? We should build another shelf. Let's do that. Man, the oil extractor is not going to come easy. You know, there's always stuff to do, man. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's not going to let me carry a lot because I have some stuff in here. Here, let's just put this stuff in here. Now it should let me carry more. Let's go. Don't even know how many I have. Didn't mean to do that, but hey, let's go. Build us another shelf. One, two. I gotta count it. There we go. Fifteen. Oh, and I have it backwards. I thought, you know, I thought I had that right. There we go. It's another iron ingot shelf. Let's see if we can get another copper one. Another copper. We'll need 15 planks again. There's three of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we got more stuff in here. Yeah, let's do that. We don't need those either. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Perfect. Go make this other shelf in here. And it's backwards too. Why can't I get that right? Why can't I get it right? This is an easy fix. All right, there we go. All right, cool. We got two more shelves. I wish there was other ways to make aluminum other than just farming it. Like, you know, for iron, you can uh, melt down stone, iron, and copper fragments. I wish there was some way we could make aluminum. 
but that's okay. You know, I might have enough. Let's see. How many more did I need? I only needed nine more. Goodness, there we go. And we have some left over. Okay, and we needed... Is that electrical or mechanical parts? That we need. That's mechanical parts. So we just need six iron ingots for that. We have that. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's go. One, two, three. Oh, no. oh I gotta make them into. <laughs> I gotta make them into. Uh, you know, mechanical parts first. Dummy, Doug. Okay, there you go. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Cool. Now let's go. I'm excited about this, guys. Boom. There is our oil extractor. Sweet. And let's go ahead and use it. It is on. And we are extracting oil. Listen to it. Sounds good, doesn't it? I like it. All right, guys, and the whole reason we needed the oil extractor is so we can make batteries. We need electrical parts so we can make batteries. And the way you make the electrical parts is, let's see. Down here, you need one copper ingot and one plastic for an electrical part. And then if you go find plastic, if you go find plastic right here, you need three oil cans and five bark chips to make, to make plastic. And so that's why we need this bad boy right here. Making us some oil. Uh oh. Got some Bambi coming in. You're not even a threat anymore, buddy. Not even a threat. Okay, so it doesn't have enough power to run right now, I'm imagining. Yeah, power ends only 50, and that's because of the storm. So, what we need to do? We need to, we need to, we need to double our power here. All right, we need to double it at least for now. So we need five iron, five aluminum, four copper, and then mechanical parts. So we're gonna basically use all of our stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That'll be enough for two. Let's go put that in. And now aluminum ingots we need. And for those two, but we're not gonna have enough. We're gonna have enough for one. So two, three, four, five. And we'll go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we need mechanical parts. We'll need, we'll need 16 mechanical parts, which is means uh, 16 iron ingots, which we do not have right now. Um, so what we're going to do is try to make uh, one, two, three, four. We'll try to make one of the solar panels right now. And then we'll probably farm materials for the other ones offline. So. We need just a little bit more power coming in though. There's one. Yeah, we need five more aluminum. Yeah, we can't even do two right now. Just not enough. Not enough power. Are we back to extracting here? We're not, so. Because it quit right after the, uh, right when the storm hit a minute ago. All right, so we're getting thirsty. Let's water going again pick up all the fish another bambi i hear you i hear you okay so we got 
That's dried meat. None of this is dried yet. It's working on it though. It's working on it. So let's go ahead and eat some stuff. Let's eat the, the fish off the fire first. Drink some water. Get us a watermelon. What are those carbs? Alright, we're good right now. While that's happening, I'm going to go ahead and load these things up with uh, with stone so they can start cooking. And while they're cooking, we are going to head on out and get some more aluminum. Alright guys, we're back on Aluminum Mountain. Alumi Mountain. Aluminum Mountain. Okay, let's see if we can get some more aluminum and head back to the base. I wonder how much aluminum actually is on these mountains, man. Because there's no telling what they're going to introduce into the game with the big update. It's going to have you using this aluminum, or this type of aluminum. Could get a little crazy. Could get out of hand. You know what I didn't do before I left? I put all that stone on the stone forge, and then I didn't start any of the fires. Man. I'm a special kind of human being, I tell you. Definitely a, a special gamer, and not the good time... Not the good type of special either, so... Man. It already takes so long to do things on this game. I'm really just setting myself back, huh? You know what? This is only episode 10. And, uh... I've got a, little, I've got a long ways to go. This stuff doesn't happen all in one episode. I think that's, like... One of my biggest problems... With doing a YouTube series on this is because... I only get to play, like... A couple times a week maybe two three times a week and I want to try to get as much stuff done as I possibly can now that one didn't give me three that one didn't give me three ores well that's disappointing but anyway I want to get as much stuff as I possibly can when I get the chance to play and so I try to rush through things and uh, rushing through things on this game is definitely not gonna work we'll see what I can eat to get that weight down uh, can I eat this? Oh, come on. Come on. I really that. I don't want to. I'm just going to eat the meat. Going to eat the meat. Got to. Now I'm good. All right. Let's head back. We load it up. So, yeah, I definitely need a bigger bag. I need a bigger bag for sure. Oh, that's pissy. Like, the whole reason I wanted to come get an aluminum was so that other stuff could cook while we were mining for aluminum. I like that jump. I like that, uh, that vertical right there. Oh, boy's got a vertical, doesn't he? I hope they don't add sprained ankles and broken legs and shit into the game like they did Seven Days to Die. A little jump down the hill won't work anymore. <laughs> Alright, guys, we're back at the base. We're going to go in and start trading this stuff out. Like, oh man. Look at this. I didn't start any of that. How stupid of me is that? <laughs> How stupid is that? Okay. I'm going to have to, oh my god. I'm going to have to put a lot of this in here. All right. While all that's cooking, we're going to go out here and check our oil extractor. And see how it's doing? And we have three cans of oil. How about that? Yes, sir. So we, that means we can make a plastic. So how many bark chips is plastic again? Let's check. I need a little cheat sheet. I need to put a little cheat sheet somewhere and I don't have to keep coming back to this. All right, plastic is three oil cans and five bark chips. So let's go get some bark chips. Bark, bark, bark chips. Bark, bark, bark chips. Okay, cool. So we'll just need five. So we'll just uh, shift and drop those over here and just pull five over. And let's go try to do some plastic right here. You know what? I bet it's at the chemistry table. Placeables, workbenches. It is going to be at the chemistry table. Place the chemistry table right there. And this needs 10 planks, 2 iron ingots, and 2 pieces of glass. So we can do glass over here as well. Let's go... Uh, Copper iron. Let's do let's do 
glass. Let's do glass. Hold on. That is sand, right? Like one sand. The control. Is that how you do it? That's not how you do it. How do you do it? Melt tin sand on the forge to get glass. I don't have tin sand. This is how you get sand. One, two, sand. Okay. One. Oh, it gives you a lot too. Sand. Sweet. One, two, sand. One, two, sand. Okay. Good deal. That's how you get sand. Okay. We're going to do that. 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 Nine, ten. And a ten. Alright, we'll do that for sand. We need that chemistry table. Oh, we ran out of fire. There you go. Come on, that's more fire. Why is this one not cooking? I don't understand. Why is that one not cooking? More fire. Come on. Still not. Put it back on. There it goes. Now it is. Alright, there's our first piece of glass. And we needed... How many glass? Three? Two glass. Okay, cool. And so there's... Does it stack? No, it doesn't stack. That's a shame. All right, it doesn't stack. Okay, so we needed two glass. We need two iron ingots. One, two. One, two. Here comes a Vambi. Come out here, buddy. Don't hurt my base. Come out here. Hey, you're coming at an angle. I can't. I can't do that with you. Come on, run straight. Okay, you're just gonna stand there. Ooh. Oh, he hit me. Come on, man. He hit me. So I need cucumbers. Let's eat these cucumbers to get my health back. There we go. Let's drink to help the thirst. All right, we're good. And we need ten. Planks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that gives us four. I thought I had six. Okay, so we can get six more. Real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Chemistry table. All right, guys. Now, what were we doing on the chemistry table? We were doing this, and then we were doing bark chips. That gives us plastic. Wait, how many plastic? This need. Oh, it needs. Okay, so for electrical parts, that is. Golly, man, this is a uh, pretty in depth here. Copper ingot and one plastic. So let's do that real quick, just to say we did it. There we go. Then on the workbench. Copper ingot, one plastic electrical part. There we go. And that gives us one. Whew, boy. That's a lot to do right there. Let's we'll see how much more oil we've got. We've got two. We don't, we don't even have three. All right, guys. We're going to call this one right here. I, I'm not sure what else I can do without seriously grinding stuff out right now. At one point, we're going to do a base building episode. But the object of today was to get the oil extractor going, and we did that. We got some oil, we made some glass, and then we made some plastic, So, which is exactly what we needed to get this thing going up. And it's going to take some grinding to get the rest of the electrical parts or this battery. So I'm not sure how long it's going to take, so I'm just going to go ahead and stop this video right here. I tell you, I really appreciate you watching, and I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Go ahead and hit that like button for me, and subscribe, and come back for more content. Thank you guys. See you in the next episode.